With Kansas City, Missouri on pace to set a new homicide record this year, the KCPD is at its lowest staffing level for officers in 50 years. KMBC 9's Andy Alcock takes a closer look at the trend. KCPD currently has close to 300 openings, or about one in every five police officer positions unfilled. While KCPD works to fill those jobs, half of the city's murders this year are unsolved. One of those victims is 24-year-old Nicolette Schroeder, a mother of three young children. She was Kansas City's 66th homicide victim this year on May 22nd. Just over two weeks later, there have now been 80. Her mother believes the lack of KCPD officers is a factor in the city's violent crime problem. I know you can't be everywhere at once, so you would think that more would be helpful. KCPD started 2014 with 1,427 officers. There were 79 homicides that year. Currently, KCPD has 1,098 officers. With less than half the year over, there have already been 80 homicides more murders than all of 2014 and a record setting pace. We know we have a recruitment and retention problem with the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department and certainly one part of that is pay. I have two other younger children and it and it terrifies me. Um, I have a son that's 16 and a daughter that's 13 and just just the society and the city as a whole is frightening. FOP President Brad Lemon says filling KCPD vacancies will require increased salaries and a supportive city hall. At KCPD South Patrol Division, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. The 80 homicides as of today is one more than in 2020 on the same date. That year, Kansas City, Missouri set a record for homicide cases with 179.